everyone, it's Gidu. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a closer look at mink right here. Uh, one thing I'm just gonna like fix right now and complain about is uh, Lulucan here. He has a little stand to step on, but unfortunately, I think it was cut wrong because it's the peg is too long for the base, so it's not an even fit. It doesn't it doesn't fit. So um, when I put him on it, he just like wiggles around and falls right off. So I'm just gonna get rid of that. I'll just put that in the box. The way his feet work, he works fine by himself. Better even. Um, even, th even though he's still not like a super steady piece in general. He's very top heavy. Um, I guess we can look at him first. So this is what he looks like. Minx all mate. I think they did a really good job though. Uh, he's quite, quite nice looking. Cool paint job. Face looks good. He's got a little cigar. His beak's a little lumpy, but like whatever. His hairdo's on fleek. His little fucking uh, dreadlocks he's got going on, or braids, or whatever. And you know Mink did those for him. <laughs> you know he did. Okay. Also, he has a little like peg right here, or a little hole to put a peg, and I have no idea what that's for. So here is Mink himself. Um, I actually really like the way he turned out. I think he turned out really nice. I'll just do a quick rotation of him so you can see the full 360 experience. And the gradient on his coat. And his hair is fucking boss. I love it. All them dreadlocks. I'm just gonna make sure his hair's in all the way because I can see a little gap. Oh, there we go. So his ponytail here actually has um, articulation, which I thought was really funny. He's got the little feather up at the top. I just, I just thought it was really entertaining the fact that this has articulation out of everything. Um, his eyes are that nice bluey, greeny, yellowy, whatever the hell you want to call it, turquoisey kind of. I don't know. He, he's got his complex in. Um, even his wrists here. I, I don't know what this pose is, even, um, I don't, I don't know, to be honest. It's not anything that was in there. I just wanted him to be holding the pipe, but it's really hard to get him to hold the pipe without him actually smoking it, because it's at a weird angle. Uh, but whatever, I honestly don't care at this point. I just wanted him posed, okay? Uh, his one short-sleeved side of the jacket, which is odd. I don't know if you can tell, but you can see his pants here. It even has the details of the ripped jeans. And his freaking combat boots and his belt and then his uh, braids underneath his hair there. I'm trying to just make it focus a little more. Of course his headband with his little button. Um, and you can see the bracelet on his wrist. And if you look closely, you can see that there is freaking detailing on his pipe to the point where there's like stuff in his pipe. Look at this. Look at this. It's fantastic. That made me really happy. Um, yeah. No, I, I quite, in, what is that on his hair? Okay, good. It's just dust. I really enjoy the way he turned out. I think he's really nice. I won't pose him with Elba in the chokey thing because Elba is still happily holding hands with Pajeku because I just want them all to be happy. Um, oh. And you can see the cuff on his wrist there that's broken. I'm like, dude, are you going to ever take that off? Or are you just going to keep it there for accessory then? But, you know, he likes to look edgy. That's just the way he is. he have got the, uh, whatever the fuck necklace thingy he has here. And uh, his coat collar, which you would see in the unboxing, is really awful to put on. Uh, it kind of flops back and forth. As you can see, it's floating on this side because of the angle his neck is at. Uh, it doesn't stay on very well. You can kind of see it through his hair here. A little irritating to put together, like to pose, because it kept wanting to fall to different spots. What I also really like about this Nedroid, uh is that his nose is like straight. It's more of a straight kind of nose, like they gave him a different nose than the other Nendroids that I'm used to. Maybe I can do a comparison of, um, noise, um, noise, fuck sakes, <laughs> Alba's nose here. As you can see, it's, it's very sloped, very sloped, 
and really pointy and very anime like and oh, I guess his eyes I guess he is tearing up in this <laughs> I said he wasn't tearing up if you do want to see his unboxing though I'll put a link not his um his unboxing in the link in the description below I'll put a link in the description below jeez I can't say it every single time um but yes that is the hurt kind of owl of a face uh, as you can see the teary eyes and his little, his little things showing up there. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, I was trying to compare his nose. So, a little ski slope going on. And his nose is very, not, very different. Look at the difference. His profile and his profile. But I actually enjoy it because Mink is not Japanese. So it's neat that they gave him a bit of different features. I thought that was real cool. And I don't even think they did that for any of the, any other Nendroids of different cultures. Like, uh, we got Nathan Drake, and I'm pretty sure he just has a typical anime pointed nose, which is chill. But at the same time, I just like the extra little detail on him. So this is six minutes now. I am probably going to end it. You can look at his hair. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I do want to know because I actually like the way he turned out. His hair's a little shiny, but uh, not. it's not actually that bad. It doesn't really bother me that much, to be honest, which is weird. Generally, that stuff kind of does. Uh, but yeah, I love his coat. I love the details. I love his pipe. I love his hair. His All of it. I just love him. He's cool. And we can... I don't know if I want to put him there. Yeah, I'll probably, I think I'll post him there. Kind of peeking out around the corner. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Links in the description below for all of my social media and my affiliate links. If you purchase those links, I get a small commission. Thank you to all those who have done it before. Um, and that is, that is, that's pretty much it. Check out the links in the description below, unboxing, all of that. Uh, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Hey, sorry, I forgot to mention in the unboxing that um, his box, like the back of his box, has the scratch headquarters on it. It looks, it looks really cool. I really like it. Um, that's just like the inner slip of the box. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to show that super quick. And I think I just figured out. Don't mind me. I just should have done this earlier. I think I figured out why the fucking thing was too long. And then I think I figured out what the fucking peg inside Lulucan's for. And I swear, if this was supposed to be a thing the entire time, and I was dumb enough to put it in the other hole, like on the base, and then just... Are you fucking kidding? God damn it, it's supposed to pose them. Damn it, I'm using all of them the wrong way. Look at this. This works so much better. Look. Yeah. Look, he doesn't fall over either. I'm pissed, but also happy that I figured it out. But like, it took me that long to figure that shit out. I'm angry at myself. Anyways, goodbye now.